Well, hello everybody. That's another week of structured training program under my belt, so it's time to have a summary and a look back over week six. So week six was never going to be going according to plan for two reasons. The, the, the first reason is that um, at the end of week three I had uh, been ill and in my bed for uh, three days and um, so I, and, and even when I, I was out of my bed um, the next couple of days I wasn't good. So I've been playing catch up until the end of week five. I was more or less caught up by then with the exception of, of uh, the, the long run for the end of week five. Um, so we had to do that one and uh, the second reason is that this week it been uh, five athletic clubs, two of five race series, uh, five races in five days, each uh, quite unique and uh, each one uh, really quite tough. <coughs> so um, although I haven't done what the schedule demanded each of the days, with the exception um, of, of yesterday which was the, the last day of, uh, the, of week six, um, and the long run, I've exceeded what the, the programme asked me to do. So, let's have a look and see how things went. Um, so, first day was Monday, it was meant to be a rest day. Um, I didn't have my rest day because uh, I had postponed the long run from the Sunday until the Monday. Um, I did that because I had uh, only done the long run for week four on the Friday and I thought it was a bit silly to go and do um, a 19 kilometer two days after I had done a 16k run. Um, so I did that on the Monday and took Tuesday as my rest day instead. The workout for the Tuesday, I had flipped that uh, to the, the Sunday, so I had actually done that one. 19 kilometer long run, um, I thought that was going to be okay because the 16 kilometer run on the Friday had been perfect. Um, but I think there must still have been a bit of uh, fatigue because I only got to about the 9, 9.5k nine mark before I had to uh, drop back to a run walk. Um, now the run walk isn't as bad as it sounds because I'm actually only running, uh, walking for 10, 20 paces and then running for uh, 100, 200 metres. And uh, I had hoped to come in under the two hours um, and in fact I, I came in at uh, two hours and just under two hours and four minutes. Um, so four minute uh, overshoot over uh, 19 kilometres, I, I don't think that, that's too bad under the circumstances. Six minutes, 20 kilometre uh, average pace, um, which is probably half a minute more than my normal. Um, but quite happy with that. Okay, Tuesday, as I said, I had that as my rest day. Wednesday, um, I was scheduled to do an 8km easy run. Um, it was the first of the two to five races. Um, I, I, I recorded all of the races on video and all of them uh, are, are available on the channel. So just look down the listings and, and you'll find each of the following five summaries. You'll find a, a video for them. And... Uh, a few minutes of reflection at the end. I, and of course in the description uh, for the video you'll, you'll find uh, you know, quite quite a, a, a detailed summary of how, how I thought that race went. Um, so it was meant to be an 8 kilometer easy run uh, on Wednesday. Uh, it wasn't quite 8 kilometers. it was 6.7 kilometers, but it was a really tough 6.7 kilometers. Um, it was uh, a beach race uh, the, there was three kinds of, of beach that we covered. Um, a, a lot of it was uh, firm, wet sand that let you, um, you know, run on. But of course, it it it, it wasn't flat. It was ridged, um, so it was a bit unstable and difficult to to keep your balance. Um, the second kind of sand was, and this was probably for the middle um, or the half k up to. Uh, the, the, the turnaround point was really dry, really loose sand where you couldn't get any traction and really difficult power sapping uh, surface. However, I managed to keep running through most of that. Um, after the turn, uh, we were coming back seaward 
and uh, the, 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 the sand was definitely wet and it looked firm, but whenever you put your weight on it, um, it had been soft. You had this soft, dry sand that uh, you couldn't get traction on. It was that stuff that had been wet by the sea. Um, so whenever you put your weight on it, you just sunk down uh, about... Um, five centimeters, something like that, and that was really, really difficult. Um, so mentally, I was wanting to keep going. Physically, I was ready to keep going, but the only way you could get through, or the only way I could get through this particular kind of sand, was was just to trudge through it. Once we got to the end of that and back onto the firm, ridged surface, we were doing really well. And overall, um, I, I came in 128th out of 164, uh, and my time was 5 minutes 22, so I was really pleased with, with that. It felt really good. Um, 160th, was it, what did I say, 128th out of 164, um, doesn't sound particularly good, about the 80th percentile, but most of the people that, that do the Tour of Fife are, are, are pretty athletic. They do a lot of races and they're much more accomplished runners than I am. And so what I'm, I'm not looking to compete with these people. Um, what I'm looking to do is, is kind of be respectable within uh, the, the, the cluster of people that are about the same level uh, of running that I am, I, and I think all through the, the tour, um, with the exception of uh, one race, I, I managed to do that. Uh, Thursday, scheduled for a 50 minute easy run, um, it was race 2, it was a mixture of hill and, and, uh, and trail race, um, you can look at the video for the details of it, um, but quite happy, 4.7 kilometres, average 6 minutes 24, and given we had about 1.5 to 2 kilometres of quite significant ascent, I was quite happy. Um, so 30 minutes, I was meant to do 50 minutes easy run. The race was actually only 5.5 kilometres away from where I live, so I'd, after the race I just ran home. So uh, over the day I put in over an hour of running and it was... One point, uh, sorry, uh, ten point three kilometers uh, in total. So again, we we more than satisfied the program. Friday is meant to be a, a, a cross training day, and I would normally go for a swim. Uh, in this case, it was race three of uh, the, the 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 Tour of Fife, and this is really quite a unique time trial. It takes us up an asphalt access road um, to radio masts. Um, 1.4 miles, uh, 1 in 10 unrelenting ascent. Um, this, I think, was my weakest... Uh, no, it wasn't. It was, it was, it was weaker than the last time. We were, I was 1.5 minutes um, slower than when I did that race two years ago. Um, but it was cold and it was raining all the time, and I think that's what caused it. Uh, I came in... Where did I come in? Um... Uh, oh, I don't have a note. I don't have a note where I came in. Um, but it was probably around about that 80th percentile again. Um, and, and reasonably happy. Every, everybody said that I, I, I did very well. Um, okay, so Saturday I made a fatal mistake. In the afternoon uh, was a trail race. Um, not a hugely demanding course. Um, the demanding part of it, the challenge, was that you know we'd already been running for for four days, doing four really or three days, doing three really tough tough races. Um, I made it worse because it was Saturday. I went and did the park run in the morning. Uh, I think almost everybody else uh, rested uh, in the morning. I didn't. I went to the five k. Uh, did it in twenty six minutes which isn't much slower than my, my normal pace. Um, so when I went out for the run, although I felt good at the start, um, I was obviously fatigued. And I came 11th from last in that race. And I was really, really disappointed with myself. Um, but it's understandable. Uh, last day of the week, uh, the schedule was for a 21 kilometre long run, a half marathon. Um, that has been put off until the Tuesday of week 7, so 
uh, we'll report on that in the week 7 summary and we'll do a, a video to let you know how we got on. Uh, the, the Tour of Fife race was um, a, a fail race, so um, we kind of had, had an ascent of a hill. The first half K was on asphalt on the flat, then we turned off onto a trail. It was four kilometres um, steady rise and I, I was really dreading this. But in actual fact, it, it wasn't as steep or didn't feel, excuse me, didn't feel as steep as it looked in the, the, the profile. Um, so I was pleased to get to within about half a kilometre of the top uh, before I had to stop and walk. But I'd overtaken a lot of people on the way up and uh, everybody around about me was, was walking, you know, bef be before I, I, I was. Uh, so I was really quite pleased with myself. Um, once we got over the top, there was a, 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 a long downhill bit that, that felt really good. Some people went past me there again. Uh, you know, the, it's easy to see who the hill runners are because they're so fast downhill. Um, we then had another short ascent, which maybe about 300 metres. I ran the first 200, walked the last 100, and then it was largely downhill or flat to the finish. Um, round about the 6k mark, it was uh, 7.97, so 8 kilometres altogether. Round about the 6k mark, um, I, I, I reverted to, to walk run up until about the last three quarters of a, a kilometre. However, the good news is that, um, I, I, again, you know, brilliant, um, 136th out of 157, um, but you know there was two hundred people signed up for for this uh, this this race series, and it was a the one hundred and fifty one hundred and sixty each day. But there were different. It was a different mix of people. Um, I would say maybe one hundred and twenty of us did all five races. Um, so, given that it was at the end and fatigue, that was you know a massive challenge to get through that last race. Um, again, quite happy. The, the 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 better indicator was my pace. You know, I did the the seven the eight kilometres in forty nine minutes, which was uh, six point oh nine minutes a kilometre. So, given that four kilometre uphill, uh, you know, I I think that's much better than I could have uh, reasonably expected. Um, so there we go. Five races in five days plus a 19 kilometre long run plus a park run. So we have absolutely beasted uh, our running this week. Um, so although I haven't stuck to the programme, I, I don't think anybody can argue that I've more than exceeded the, 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 the demands of the programme. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to make sure you get notifications of all new content.